Hello there everyone, this is Good Guy Palps and welcome back to Old World. We are approaching victory. We have a brand new young leader, a vibrant drink woman at age 20, Queen Labali Sharat the New. We need to pick a technology to go for. Let's take a look at the tech tree. Now stirrups would be good. Horsemen, being able to upgrade our chariots would be great. Now granted, our, our training, we have a lot of units and we are probably consuming more than we can, than we can, are able to produce. So getting this would be good. Let's see, this this upgrade upgrades to polybos actually. So if we got this, we could upgrade our ballista. That's interesting. Yeah, let's go for that. If we get that, we could do our upgrades and, and uh, probably win this war. That said, because our training is so low, we're going to actually cancel this. And we're just going to go right for the stone cutter. And maybe we'll get a. We'll just try and upgrade this unit, and let's see, we already have one on the way. Cost 120 training. We do need to do our upgrades. We want to target the people who already have leveled up, like this unit right here. Now, we need to also look for ways to get more training. We have quite a few luxury resources. Uh, family gifts via Prince Ushpia. Let's take a look at our family. Is it, are they all happy? Oh, that's our gun family is not happy. Let's take a family gifts. And what family is she from? She's 3% Scythian. Nice. Let's do a family marriage with a Sargonid family. Hold on, let's take a look here. We'll send them olives. Send them wine. I think we do a family marriage here. However, okay, hold on. Does that mean it has to be one of these people? Are any of them actually our age? 34, 31, 19. She's a girl. I don't think we can do that. 27 is probably the only option. He's a builder. We could do an influence mission. Let's start with that. End of an era. Long live the queen. Patriarch Nebuchadnezzar, the compassionate person soon after the rights for the queen. Uh, Testament to the fountainhead has been observed. Loss of churches is great. Loafers, rations everywhere. Every person must make the choice. Converts to Jerashianism, plus five legitimacy. End state religion. Uh, we'll, no, we'll, uh, we have a lot of Zoroastrianism. And there you actually really like us. So yeah, we'll, we'll convert. Immortal Peril. Oppression of zealots from Greece visit the court, preaching the tenets of Judaism. It more than a display, they carry with them an ultimatum of fugitism at your immortal peril. Okay, that's interesting tactics. Adopt, no. Greece declares war? Holy. Them declaring war is something I did not see coming. I guess we have a peace though. So they're gonna break the peace. Oh, we actually are, got a marriage offer. Has arrived from Adasi and Sargona families. Okay. He is 38. He is 27. A builder, a zealot. Let's take here, I think, is the best option. Make sure we have an actual heir. Immortal peril. Okay, let's take death of a governor instead. Okay, we'll choose a new governor here. Could choose ourselves. I think not. I think I'd rather have her govern the capital. Actually, he's a pretty good governor. 
Are there any cities that are missing a governor? Melidu. These three cities all need the right improvement. Melidu could take a governor. We could have her govern it. Which probably makes the most sense. Could you actually have her serve as our own ambassador? If we click on her, abdicate national alliance. A tribal alliance. Let's make her governor. Yes, my soul believes this is the right choice. A procession of results from Greece is the court. Okay, so how do we even... We don't even have, like... If we chose any holy... Any religion, it would be Christianity besides Russians because that we actually own the holy city. Same with this religion. Like, we don't want... Like, maybe we probably want to actually uh, deny this, but we're, we're going to say no... And we're going to gain that, and we're going to have a war with Greece now, so that's interesting. Um, we might have to start shifting some troops around, but we'll see how it goes first. We need to use this for the palace, that's right. We need legendary culture, so we still want to build this. We could build it over here. Actually, let's build an amphitheater. Alright, same type of thing here, just go to sleep. Actually, what's this? The Zoroastrian Cathedral, we can also build this. No, we don't have the Holy City. Don't we already... Oh, we could build another cathedral here. Let's do that. Costs a lot of training. We might have to attack as is. They have a lot of units back here. So we almost want to retreat and for, if they make it so they have to move forward. This is what I'm thinking. Or maybe bring them up to, the, to this like wall of defense. Maybe put like an onager in the ballista right here. And move this archer to be back here. That's what I'm thinking. We'll put that guy unit there. Run Limbird so we'll hang out. Choose production. Let's see. Level two, so not bad. An apprentice priest. Apprentice monk. Let's grab the monk. In reality, we probably should just move, with Egypt being a, potentially like a, uh, what a national piece here. Uh, we should probably just move these units somewhere more useful. Holy, what happened here? I don't see any rebel units. Okay, so. No, we just want to move them thereafter. In the meantime, though, we have a lot of orders. Let's bring these units this direction. Potentially down here, or for the front with Greece. You as well. Okay, so we need to make sure we leave at least one unit here. It's uh, part of the ranged family that is this unit, or that unit. 
Let's send the crosswoman. We'll send all four of these units down here. That should help a lot to end the year. <laughs> now it's possible that Greece really is trying to go to war because they is trying to win. Now we, it's funny because we were like in a great relationship. With them. This young leader wanted to hold an ultimatum, I guess, but maybe we should punish him. Maybe we should completely move all of our troops. You know what? I bet that's where uh, that happened. Trade mission. Our ambassador assessed the leader's mission to Egypt. Let's trade training for wood. Orders for stone. Our science for stone. Okay, all of those are not good. We want training. So. Let's move here. Take that shot. The militia aren't going to do jack nothing. They already moved. Let's get that kill. Now it's possible rather than going to declare war on Babylon, which I think is actually still a good thing to do, we could just move all of our units out here and invade Greece and do an all out war out here. They're just a little unprotected because actually we are getting along with Babylon. Hmm, interesting decisions. We leave Babylon mostly undefended and bring all our units out here to attack Greece. Hit this city and this city. That does sound kind of fun. If we take them out, we pretty much lock in the victory. I'm going to do it. With, with Babylon being friendly, we're going to use civics to kind of to get an alliance going with them. Luckily, we have a lot of orders saved up. We're still going to leave, let's see, we need a hunting, a hunter's unit here. That's not one. This is not one. This is one. So we're going to put this unit in the city. We're even going to bring the chariot forward. And most of all these other units are going. Now that's not much. But we could pump out units if we need to, I think. Heated bass, let's do that, yes. And university would be really solid as well. He the heated bass location is a little bit more protected. Let's go do that. All right, so we definitely need some more quarries. Wants us to build a university. It's a really good university. We already have the palace. Let's go build this quarry over right here. All right, we got a courthouse. Let's go build this quarry. We're gonna bring all these troops out, and we're gonna save up our civics to see if we can get an alliance with with these guys. Let's also do another trade mission. Let's make a national peace. How about that? And then this is where our leader is, the governor, which is great. Let's grab a stone cutter. I mentioned to see if Greece commits to this war or how many units they're going to have to defend our full scale invasion. Now, saving up the orders is great, but we're going to almost want to put our troops out here and then save up orders again for a couple turns. Okay, that's a lot to read, so I'm kind of skipping it. Choose new governor. Choose a new one here. They're all busy. 
upgrade. So these are relative to Governor of Kwatna Intelligent. Becomes warlike. We need that training. An ambassador. Let's prove her charisma. Put some of these. Actually, no, we need that for the palace, don't we? Shucks. Uh, we do need to go here and build warm baths, I guess. Let's see, how's our discontent level? Minus four. Warm baths would be pretty cool. Let's build a barracks instead. We should build a range. We have a lot of lumber. Not so much stone. Lots of units are on the move. Let's take a peek out here. Wait, this is our... Whatever, we can go scout with them. So they seem to be at war with Babylon as well. Let's go to Babylon and ask for a national peace. Oh, we already have to wait. We have to wait till that's done. Okay. There's a lot of units here. Can we move so many at a time? Also, do we have any spare workers? No, not any this turn. I can't sit dock up on any orders, so we're just gonna have to. All right, this city, Festival Three. Now, what can we do to generate more? Orders and or let's get some officers. Uh, don't have that luxury here. So we'll grab the master poet. We're gonna stone cutter here. After that, let's definitely throw down an apprentice officer. As you feel stone towards the end really becomes like just a vital, a vital resource that we just, you absolutely need it. All right, third line has died. Egyptian writers arrive at the capital, press not into the court, they will come deliver a question, yeah, sure, fun, peace will do. All right, so now that we have peace, We'd like peace here. Peace is desirable. Okay. Um, our training has increased. These are just archers, which is good. It's a good sign. Inspired by their strong Christian faith, the Tudia family have brought controversial debate to the floor of the court. They seek to publicly condemn Egypt for adherence to, to Zoroastrianism. Zoroastrianism is literally the state religion. Yeah, it would be a mistake to do that. Earthquake. All across all the violent shaking rocks, building and jostles temples, selling debris into the streets, terribly people huddling caves and shrines, hoping to stay, stay safe from the aftermath. Must work harder to please the gods, gain a priest. Our engineering needs improvement. We gain science. Okay. It's a coincidence. There's nothing we can do. Yes, we need that because of all the orders. Death of a governor. Okay, we'll choose a new one. Again, we don't have enough people in our court. The 22 orders is a blessing right now. We also want to go to Persia.
asking to declare war on another nation. So we can ask them to declare war on Greece. Let's bring our troops forward. You know, the front's here, so that's where we want to send them. All right. I'm gonna go, uh, I'd like to scout that out. Is this a, it's still a Babylonian city, right? Yeah, it's got green borders. Roads here probably would have helped a ton as well. All this siege equipment. It's expensive to move around. Prioritize these swordsmen. All right, now with only a little bit more, let's go scout forward some more. Okay. We also would like to go here. I'd like them to invade. They're probably already at war, actually, if we go look at them. Uh, we can't see, can we? Who they're at war with? I don't know. All right, well, we have a bunch of workers, and crap, we need to go repair these. All right, we we'll do that next turn. In the year to move all our units and then probably stock up some orders. We have 17 years to control four palaces. By the way. Hmm. All right, so here come their units. They have a lot of spearmen. They can attack that guy as all they want. No offense to that guy, but I think that's fine. The Mason established a grain dole. What's a it's a grain dole. Minus two per year. Okay. All families plus forty opinion. Now that Mrs. Mrs. Thrice is older, wish to do more to the poor, for the poor. Okay. Buy food and minus one discontent. Minus two legitimacy. But all the families love us. Which is not a bad idea. Okay. I'd like to repair this quarry. Do I have another worker nearby? Oh, can't reach it. This worker. It's building a wonder, so we don't really want to cancel that. Can't reach it. No one else can reach. Okay, so we'll just have to do the rest next turn. Hold on, so are these guys range one? Would you be adjacent? Because that, I mean, yeah, their range is one. It, it makes sense since they're crosswomen, but man, that's unfortunate. This guy's towards the front, so it kind of makes sense up to upgrade him. It makes more sense to upgrade this guy, though. I mean, we want to move forward. Let's get our troops out so we can continue to move forward. Let's move forward from the back. Stay within our borders so we potentially get an upgrade soon. Hmm. Let's take a look at our improvements that we still need to do. A 
wants a university. We need... All right, so let's take a look. We need to still build our palaces. We have two. I believe we're building the heated baths there. So we have a palace right there, and we have a palace right there. If we take a look at our cities, are any of them legendary? Besides those two. Strong, legendary. Azure, we have one there. Legendary. And Nispus. Okay, so we need to build one in Nispus. So if we go here, we have this worker. We can go build the palace right there. For some reason we can't. Maybe we just lose training. We can't reach it. Okay. We have a builder around here. Yes. Okay, so next turn we build that palace or start building it. Hopefully they can. Is there anyone we can reach to fight? Not this turn. We could, however, potentially... Yeah, let's leave that guy as bait. Okay, now we'll take a look at our cities. Now oh, we need so many more orders, among other things. And these are going to give us orders if we improve them, unfortunately. But training can at least be improved. All right. We need one of these cities to get to be a legendary culture. This is not going to be the one, though. What city is the closest? I guess we should get a, a palace in Nispus. Here we go. Meniferet. Let's go there. Let's take a look at that city. This city right here. Do we have a courthouse? Yes. So we're going to be building a palace right there. We need to make sure we have a worker ready to roll in about six turns. on that worker. I'm not sure what we get out of it. Instead, I just need to remember to send this worker there. Or here. Here we go. Here we go. I know you can't go, but I want you to go. So, All right, what to build here? We have completed the apprentice officer. We need a priest. This is the temple. It gives us orders, which is pretty great. Production here in Monothus. Yeah, I think I want to increase these stone cutters. Would be really good. The ballista was completed. Let's grab a stone cutter. Now we have to end the year. This war will be grand and it will be glorious. Well, hopefully. And that's what this lady is saying. This young twenty-four-year-old queen fighting this young twenty-one-year-old king. Oh, what might have been. All right, let's see what they do. They're going to attack our chariot, as expected. All right, they're going to attack the chariot again and kill it. Or get close to killing it, I guess. And then they're going to continue to fight Babylon. Holy, is that a manga now? Persia declares war on Greece. Yes! Peace will do. This is like a world war, everyone against Greece. I love it. <laughs> it is really fun. Okay, uh, let's see. Stirrups, I think, is the best thing we could do. Or navigation to get us towards coinage. Stirrups. All right. That is a manganel. So that, that unit is upgraded. All right, so first, before we prioritize the whole war, I just need to get this dang worker right here, where we can build the palace, which we need to do in a couple turns. So we'll say next turn. Egypt, we have peace with, right? Yes, we have peace with everyone except Greece. This is the world war against Greece. This young leader should be disposed. All right. Now, we have to be a little wary of this, because that's a strong unit. But we also want to kill these guys. So, 
This is a crossbowman. We want to move these guys forward to get into the fight soon. Interesting. They don't do great against ranged. Okay, beautiful. There's a good shot. If we get our military or our infantry right there. Let's bring our crossbowman up. Shoot there. Let's bring our swordsman up. I think. Just to get this kill. And then bring our crossbowman up to get that kill. Let's bring our ballista up. Oh, we can upgrade our ballista. Ooh, okay. Hold on, let's bring this ballista forward as well. Let's move it up here. Dang, I, I, now I wish I, you know what? Actually, hold on, let's undo. And undo the move before that. Grab this ballista. How much to upgrade it? 120 training. Can we buy training? Because that would be epic. Um, all right, so we don't want to move them out of our borders because we want to upgrade them. So let's take this archer and move them forward slightly onto a hill. And let's move this ballista forward to here so that next turn we can upgrade them. Let's move this unit. I'd like to upgrade these macemen as well, but that's difficult. I need to get this unit forward, and so I'm gonna move this guy here and then get our range unit forward, and let's just... He's out of range, we have to move him again, I think, before we unlimber. Let's move this unit forward. All right, now that we have the front moved around, hold on. Wants us to build a palace there. Yes, that's what we're doing. And then we're getting the palace up here in just a couple turns. So until then, we need to move our units to get them closer. We'll start with these units that are close. We're going to actually help the front soon. It's very expensive to move all these guys to help. Didn't I move you? That was the other worker. Okay. We can come here. We're actually getting more stone now. We could go build the academy. Let's go build this citadel so we get some, some more orders out of this. Speaking of that, an apprentice officer was completed. Let's grab a master officer. Next turn, we should go form an alliance with either Babylon or Egypt or Persia. I think Persia makes the most sense. Them going to war with Greece is going to be good for us, I hope. We still have six orders. Again, I'd like to be able to save up, but we need to win this initial conflict, I think. It's kind of opening skirmish. Skirmish. We also need to continue to move units this their direction. Some of these units are going to get left behind to, to uh, heal. If they are, though, we need to get them out of the neutral ground and back into our borders. Because they don't cost as much when they're in our own borders. Alright, we're out of movement, unfortunately. Uh, we need more orders, that's for sure. We also need training. It's in the air. Let's see what Greece does. They're going to have to move and unlimber, so they won't be able to attack this turn, which is good. They can't attack with these units or any other infantry and melee and stuff they have, but we're out of the range of their siege unit. And if they move him forward without moving protective units forward, he'll be exposed. This is the war where we apply what we've learned when we got our freaking butts moved earlier. Right, so they're retreating, actually. That's actually great news, because that should give us time to bring units forward. Your mother has died. It is done. on the side of the crucifixion of Jesus at the heart of the stone church lies a rotunda house in the tomb where he had, was laid to rest before the resurrection. Except from the cool shade of entrance and lift your eyes to the spot. Okay. Our name will reach the church of the Holy Sepulchre is finished. Beautiful. Let's get this unit to our borders and heal them. Let's get these units to the front.
Let's grab this ballista. Upgrade. Let's grab this ballista. Let's grab this crossbowman. Posting them up on one side of a river is going to be very helpful. Okay, cancel the action queue. To shoot across because they don't have any damage or like penalty. All right, so we kind of want to move these units forward, but I almost want to scout first. I want to see what they have and where they have it. Okay, so they have a bunch of units here. Some more elephants, a lot of siege units. Upgrading our cavalry would be good in a couple couple of years. Let's get these units moved forward. I'd like to move all these units forward as well, but honestly it's just going to be faster to build units up here and cost less. So we're just going to put these guys here to defend. not a ton of units. Um, keep these units going that way. Okay. That's pretty good. Now we still have all these guys. Before we do that, let's take a moment here to double check. Let's go build our citadel in Babylon. All the orders helps. We still want to build our palace. It's going to take another couple turns. Actually, means we're going to win pretty soon. Um, let's grab the range here to get more training. This city is idle. The moat was completed. Let's grab the. Let's grab the forum. Oh, we can also go here. Let's go to Persia. Oh, diplomat leader. Oh, yeah, that's right. All right, let's do a trade mission then. See if we can get any good trades out of that. It's a little, you know, it's a little hit or miss, but level seven, it's not going anywhere. A festival, though, is not the worst idea. Completed that hamlet here. We could build an academy, a ministry. That's where we want to build a palace and eventually. Speaking of that, can we now build the cathedral? Let's go. Now we have a cathedral on the way. I almost want to build just more quarries. Hmm. We're not. We don't have a legendary culture here yet, right? No, it's strong though, which is good. I don't have a ton to build. I'd rather, I'd rather move units. I'd rather move up onto this and on limber. And move this unit. Oh, here we go, we upgraded. There we go. Now let's move our archer forward. All right, so now we go choose our production way up here. Master Poet was completed. Oh, Gardener isn't bad. We could start sending luxury resources to our friends and allies to end the year. It all comes down to this war with Greece, who we were friendly with, by the way, until their dumb new young leader. He just looks like an idiot. Look at him. Looks dumb. Now with the entire war, the entire war, the entire world at war with Greece, they just unlimbered. Interesting defense tech technique. All right, all right, we have a prince. Let's go. 
You talent the remarkable skills of the one who assisted at birth. Create a school for midwifery. Gain midwifery. 20% science. Doctors. Gain a doctor. Let's take a midwife school. That is cool. So now we have an heir who we can't tutor till they're 10, but we have a son. Upgrade ourselves equestrian as leader. All cities, new mounted units get more XP. Okay, they like that. All cities lose discontent. We don't have very many uh, uh, cavalry units, so we're not going to build many. So I'm going to take righteous. I don't believe we've hit legendary culture yet. If we take a look at the city, Meneferet. Right here, it's strong three years away still. They have horsemen. Okay, I thought they were cataphracts for a second. Wish we had a diplomatic leader. I was hoping she'd become that eventually. Ooh, here we go. Years to complete two. Yeah, we'll take all that training. Let's go. I should have done that like three turns ago. Let's heal. With that, we're going to get a ton of upgrades. It's going to take two years. We're going to upgrade a bunch of our macemen. Let's get them in position where they can be upgraded but then still be useful. We're going to upgrade here too. So the units are dope. All right. They're on limber. We're gonna move forward here to get these guys in better positions. We're gonna move these guys up here. Out of range, but close enough to be effective and help if when we are ready. A lot of units moving forward. I like it, I like it. We're going to upgrade both these macemen soon. Let's move this guy forward. Let's move both. Let's move this guy forward. Swordsmen are going to be tanks for us. Okay, we can upgrade here. We do not have the ability to do that, though. We're going to move them there, so we can upgrade next turn. Ballista completed. Should have just built this instead, of course. Um, attacks Pierce and Cleave at 50% versus ranged. A Camel Archer, if we could, uh, honestly a Swordsman makes sense. We have tons and tons of uh, iron. We have 17 orders left, so because of that we probably can take, let's make sure we get all our units moved. The direction they need to be in. We don't have a unit here. We must have moved them out of the city. They we're doing okay though, so it's not too big of a deal. Let's get that. What did we complete here? A master officer. This is the place to be making units. Can we rush? Can we rush them too? Only with civics. Which, speaking of, we wanted to. We wanted to do something. No, I don't remember what it was. Okay, let's see. What other. We can get an elder officer. Let's do that. Let's scout out. Okay, so they have a big army down here with swordsmen. Good to know because that is going to be a B yacht to fight. Not yet. Can we do anything there? These guys are asleep, so don't tell me about them. Okay, here we go. 
to go to the library or uh yeah Honestly, we're building improvements that cost orders, so I kind of want to put these guys, a lot of them, to sleep. So that we don't do a ton of improvements, we just focus on winning the war. Okay, so let's bring these units forward. Continue to bring this unit forward. Yes, next turn. Next turn. We still have movement here. We're gonna say next turn for like all these guys. All right, let's just look around. This guy already moved. Those guys moved. Moved, moved, waiting to upgrade, moved. Right? Oh, this guy has not moved. Okay. Now we're out of orders. Let's take a check our cities. Apprentice officer was completed. Uh, this is the city where it's trying to get to be legendary. We're three years away. Here, a stone cutter was worked on. Now producing significantly more stone. That'll give us more stone. This will give us civics. This will give us gold. I wish you could do specialist in the garrisons. I think it'd be cool. Yeah, I'm thinking... Here we go, Master Bishop, that's that's what I want. Adds us, give us a half an order. Now we'll end the year. We built, we, we control the four palaces and we win the game. So we're gonna get our th Okay, they are definitely coming now. Panic. All right, let's take a free oh, horse archer. Marshal code. Marshal code, we go get towers. State religion can hurry units with money. High science. Plus five year per cities with religion. Now I can get horses and get horse archers. You know, I'm thinking the free horse archer. It takes one year, or the free horseman. Now we can't do our upgrades yet. What? Oh, this guy did retreat. He is. Oh, he's not on limber. Okay, so we're going to have to actually retreat with him. Which is fine. Is, I thought this guy unlimbered. Okay, we're gonna move forward one. And unlimber. We're going to move forward to here and unlimber. It's a little risky moving forward there, but here's our ballista. Did we hold on, what's your range? Or range is one? Okay. That's yikes. I didn't realize that. Alright, we're gonna move this. Polybolos right here and hit their infantry, get the critical hit, let's go. And then move forward. With our crossbowmen here. forward with these. Oh, I didn't upgrade him. I thought I already... Okay, hold on. Undo. Ha! We're going to wait till next turn. Because we get it all in one more turn. That's right. Cause it takes two turns for all that to work. So where's our other infantry? Right here. 
take out their archers. Now let's see what they do with these with their army that's back here. These units are going to defend. Kind of hold down right there still. See what happens. This is another crossbow. I, honestly, there's no reason to leave, leave them in the capital. The capital's negative eight discontent. So we're going to send them forward. So this, we're going to send this guy all the way forward. Have to take a heal. Um, where do we get this unit? In the capital. Beautiful. Should be three turns away, or two turns now from building that palace, or from being able to start building it. Particular events. Noble families are lined up for the first to take advantage of the recently completed baths. Tied together would provide a perfect opportunity to discuss alliances and win support. They all like us, except the two DF families having trouble. So make sure they go in our and court merchant. Upgrade to deal maker, unlocks caravan. Robust, two orders per year, yep. Your husband and governor of Asher, Delver, okay. She's governor of our cavalry, we do have a lot of mines. So they would give us more training. Robust, two orders per year. Ooh, that's tough. Both are really good. The two orders per year is nice. The training stone and iron comes nice. I'm gonna take robust though. Next turn, I completed the barracks, very nice. I should put you to sleep until we have something much better to build. Up here we completed the moat. Very, very nice. Let's grab a stone cutter. Now, with all that, we should be a little wary of Babylon going to war with us, so I kind of want to... Let's slander the nation. Oh, she's very ill. Let's let's uh, make a new one. Make chosen heir. Uh, let's leave council. She resigns. Let's pick a new spy master. Ooh, I like this guy. Let's take a look at all of them though. Uh, okay, this gives us orders, discontent, 24, 27. All right, slander, oh, we can still research. Slander Greece, okay, next unit. Let's keep these units moving forward now. Let's just send these crossbowmen forward, why not? These guys we will upgrade soon. We're gonna hold all these guys here until we kind of know what we're doing with them. Make sure all these units have moved. This guy, how's this guy? He's discontent, level seven, it is going down. We're gonna leave that guy there. That's pretty good. All right, so now let's take one of these units and peek it forward is what I'm going to do. I'm going to come here. He gets what? Another movement. Let's peek up onto the hill. We are out of range. But I'm going to move back. End the year. Oh boy, they're really going after that swordsman. Okay, we completed the Via Recta Souk. A trade deal returns from Persia. Very news that comes unexpectedly, but not unpleasantly. It seems that instead of a trade deal, they wish to cultivate a new industry. Okay. We're intrigued an important moment to gain incense. 
Never transpire your forces. You visit every city in Assyria, speaking before throngs of eager soldiers. The gathering check proud citizens who openly share their food and drink with them. Okay. Try to wear bristles. Lose discontent. Gain a ton of training. We're going to go for mm, martial. Oh, yeah. Let's take manor. Okay, that was great. Now, the only issue we have is that or, uh, we have some serious issues. Critical hit, very nice. It also damages all the surrounding units. This unit needs to retreat immediately and heal. Right? This unit's okay for now, but we need to move forward. Go as far as we can. We need to move forward here and unlimber again. Okay, this guy can get to here, so we'll do that. Oh, it hit the people behind them. All these abilities you don't like I don't know. You don't know what they're gonna do, right? I like it though. Not mad, not one bit. Okay, do we have any units here? Let's upgrade. Upgrade everywhere we can. Must be fully healed, okay. Uh, let's take our upgrades here. Still have enough orders, that's uh, what I was checking on. It's costing a lot of training, but it's obviously worth it. And that should be pretty much it. Yeah, it takes 130 training, so we'll get that next turn. Just fine because they had to move anyways. This unit uh, should retreat to here and heal. I don't know why I don't know should be there. Okay. Now, this unit needs to move forward. It's a great kill. Get wrecked. And we have this army up here. The question is, do we want them to start attacking one of these cities or come down to try and finish off their armies? That's a good question. We could come pretty far with this unit. This is the only one that can come help. I think we should. Yeah, let's take that shot. Let's upgrade the crossman, even though there's still an archer there. All right, let's bring this cavalry unit forward. Somewhere they can immediately help next turn, but they're protected. And the same thing, I think, here. Everyone here is just going to hang out until we kind of know what we want to do. But it wouldn't hurt to move a little closer. Okay, it's because you want to be out of range of these guys but close enough that we can maybe move up forward and attack them next turn. That's kind of what I'm thinking. And flank them. All right, let's, before we lose all our orders, let's see. The wealth trader from Allen arrives from recent expedition flush with gifts for the court. New court merchant. Yes, welcome. We now have the ability, hold on. How old is our heir? Two, okay, yeah, we can't tutor him yet. We should need a governor in one of these cities. Nispus. And then Tushan. All these are really good. Um, let's take here our new merchant. The Erect Suk, it is done. Plus eight legitimacy, freedom movement. Enlightened leaders of Maladaya are experiencing a significant shift in their cultural views. After several years of intense debate, they propose the abolishment of national slavery. They wish to start Maladaya as an example for all of Assyria. It does not dictate national law. We gain a, a rebel unit, but we get a ton of training. Hold on, where is the city? Okay, we can handle one rebel unit, I think. Let them experiment with anti-slavery. We gain a bunch of culture. Where are civics? 
And we're not going to adopt that because slavery is too good right now. It gives us a ton of orders. Now, we do have all these civics. What are we going to do with them? Trade mission. Trade mission. Okay, these guys are not too happy right now. Let's uh, influence. Let's trade mission here. We gotta try and keep on the, their good side as much as possible. Let's take the training. Critical hit, so they're dead. Just used basically one order, and we got 962 training. I think that's a pretty fair trade. Speaking of that, let's move these guys forward. And that means we should be able to actually upgrade someone we moved forward up here, this guy. Was there anyone else? We can upgrade them next turn. Okay. Uh, palace. I think that's the next turn we can build the palace. We want to start with that if we remember. I was going to go to sleep to save orders. Yes, let's move this unit forward. All right, now we're in the air. We have a big army here, big army here. Another reinforcement's coming, healing and upgrading. This is a big battle with Greece. This is pretty fun. 11 years to complete that legacy. We should, we're probably going to win the next like eight turns. These next eight turns could take a while, though, so I'm debating if we should put it into another episode. Okay, hold on. Hold the phone. We some, that is some intense range. Alright, so they're going to be able for sure. Oh, not quite. Okay, now they will. So they killed one. We did kill four units, though. So it's not like... Or something like four units. Where are you going? Where are you going? Interfaith dialogue. Okay, holders of making these suggestions have been developing friendly religion in the city of Menifret. Just recently, making the temple held a common prayer session. Good. Fish cooperation is better. Clerics set wonderful example for all of Assyria. Yeah, we'll take that. It's way better. Now we can build the palace. That'll be done in six years. I mean, this game ends in six years, I think, because we're building this, and it'll be done in two. So with that, we might as well just go all out. Make sure we win. Let's send our luxuries to our friends. Or the people we want to have be our friends. We have 58 orders that we've stocked up. I like it. Now let's wreck some Greek soldiers here. This unit's weak, a little weak. Let's heal. How close can we get these guys? Not quite close enough. We'll get them towards the battle. Same thing there. Same thing here. Got to get all these troops forward as far as possible. The support. The reinforcements that are coming. All right. So now we want to eliminate these three units. I think that's kind of the main goal of this to move. While we eliminate this, all right, let's take an upgrade. Horse archer or horseman. Let's see how this horseman does, I guess, first. Hmm. These crossbows are good, by the way. Like, really good. And just like that, this battle is going great. Let's move as far as we can on Limber. Move our infantry forward. Keep them, try and keep them out of range. 
Uh, I think we're going to upgrade to a horseman. All right, now we won that little battle, and we can come in and crush this city. I think we're going to sandwich this city and try and crush their entire military here, and then take this city. And then from there, what is this? Is a wonder? Yeah. Um, oh, it's a Jewish cathedral. Then we want to go take this city, because that's pretty sweet looking. Okay, now we, we kind of have to hit these guys, and then we need to really advance and kill these. And I think the way to do that could maybe take out one. They can't hit you if you're right next to them. So let's see, these guys, let's start with shooting with our units here for sure. That's step one. Let's get this kill, get the crossbowman. These guys can't move as far. Well, these guys have already moved actually, so. He doesn't do as much to infantry as I would like, but the crossbowmen do. So we're going to move our crossbowmen here. Take that shot. Critical hit. Let's go. Okay, these guys have all... This guy, hit. This guy moved. Yeah, okay. Um, so I have this guy left, this guy left, this guy. Anyway. All right, so I think... This is going to do best against the range. This guy gets this kill. This guy gets either kill. Let's come here. Let's bring our infantry here. It's hoping we get a critical hit. Now we have, if we can set our horsemen forward, we could hit them and they have to move in order to take a shot. The question is, do they have more here, right? That's the, I don't want to just like charge in with our horsemen and we die. We also need one of these guys, because we have 17 orders left, but I think they all healed. Uh, these guys have all moved, upgraded. These guys just can't, yeah, they're out of range, so we're going to say next turn. Um... So yeah, what's the best way to get this kill? I'm thinking we bring this archer here. Then we bring this cavalry forward. He can come all the way to here. So he moves here. We don't see anything else. I think we go right here. Okay, there's no one here. And then we attack. Either one of these doesn't matter. But they can't shoot him because they can't hit anything adjacent to them, if I remember right. Now, that doesn't mean he won't die, because they die, these guys would have to move, but this guy could hit him. There could be more troops around here, which, of course, would be a, not good, but at least they get a hit. You got a hit. Right move a master's priest and officer arrived from Greece with a message of hope. The great king Alex has issued a call for all nations to establish a Judaism as their state religion. Okay, buddy. We already said no, that's why we're at war. We gain training. She's a strong leader. All right. With all that training, though, and now it's like, what do we do? I guess we'll just, we don't need this other officer. We need her. I wish I had horses. A siege tower would be cool. Um, let's do that. Let's get a siege tower. Let's rush that out. And then after that, we'll get a swordsman. And then let's take a look. It's too old and retired. Okay. That's fine. Probably need more generals. I don't have like any. Oh, uh, there's a worker. Yeah, I'm just going to put you to sleep. Oh, hello, Maceman. Let's move to here and upgrade. That is good to know. Glad you found him. And this is Babylon. You're just going to, yeah, hang out for a while. Yeah, you can build the crossbow. Makes sense. Now let's just grab some of these. These are big time things we would like. Choose production here. Master Bishop. Oops. 
An elder bishop could be good. It's going to give us orders. Now, uh, where do we have horses? It's really like only somewhere. We get war elephants up there. Yeah, it's too far. Horses, I feel like, are a little too rare in the game. I'm sure, I think you can change the settings, though. So, that's probably my own fault. What are we low on? Stone. Okay. Um... Again, I just wish I had access to more cavalry. This is a glorious war, by the way. Now we have a lot of civics. What can we do? This level H3 can't tutor yet. Um, we're slandering. We're already slandering. Okay, we can't make an alliance yet because we need. We're already busy. So, alright, choose production here. Oh, actually, let's do an apprentice bishop. No, never mind. Production up here. We completed the forum. Let's grab the archive. Production here. Let's grab a tre Let's grab a forum three. Wait, we can rush these right with the money. And yeah. All right, Greece. See what you do. What's your counterattack? I put them in a tough spot. Limited their units they sent forward here, and now these guys are in trouble. Now they could take these guys out, take this guy out, and then shoot over here. They could probably shoot over here, anyways. I don't know. Holy, that guy's got range. One, two, three, four, five. That's so far. All right, so that crossman's dead. They're able to. Okay, here comes their war elephant. Okay. Lots of these guys hanging around. Okay. Let's go back to the front here and see. This guy's alive. That's good. We lost a crossbow. That's bad. Now we want to... I think we have to go all out here on this fight. To get these eliminations. I should have shot with him first. Unfortunately, we're just out of range there. But these guys can make it. Hoo-hoo, these guys are going to do a lot of damage on this war elephant here. We might be overextending them just a touch. Ah, just out of range of these of these guys getting there. I should have checked that first. I don't want these guys to get hit too hard though. So I think I need to like bring this these guys in here. And start attacking their dumb siege units. Now if we come here, actually if we go here, either way, he's in a kind of a heap of trouble. But at least we get that kill. Oh. Hold on, did they attack again? If they kill a unit, they can attack again, that's right. That's horsemen, not chariots. Ooh, I like that, okay. We gotta use that more. I want to advance forward, but we don't want to... So we need our air support. Yeah. Further up. Oh, okay, here we go. Let's move forward here. This is great because Babylon's right here, so we can actually maybe take both these cities, but... Uh, that would have been nice to actually get out of that unit up there instead. I 
need to move forward. We have to kind of do it a little hesitantly. We can heal real fast. Since we are in like a friendly territory, I think. And actually they have generals, maybe they can just heal neutral territory. All right, let's bring this unit up on that hill. Let's bring this unit forward. I'm gonna come forward a little spread out. Okay. And then this unit's the other one. I wish we could get there. Now we could do a forced march, actually. Ooh, that's true. We can only go a little bit extra with the forced march. We should have done that with this unit, with that unit. How far could we get on a forced march? Couldn't get there. Couldn't get there. Hmm, we need to heal this unit. I hope he, he's going to get hit right here and be killed. And all these units are going to get pummeled, actually. around him okay we're in a bit of a precarious situation uh, let's see we're gonna need more troops here pretty soon let's just continue to get these things for now let's go back to the capital this city could put out some like camel archers. Wouldn't be too bad. Rushing in with civics. All right, this war is we're a little too spread out, but they have they just have units on this whole front that we're trying to deal with. Now, if we can kill these all these mangonels they have, there's a ton of them. These guys are gonna get pummeled. I'm worried this this guy's definitely gonna die. I'm hoping that no one else dies though. Um, we've killed most of our other units, I think. And the good news is that this city is pretty much out of support. Right, this is Babylon here, so they're only accessed by troops here. So these guys are gonna be the taking the big brunt of their attacks now. Yeah, I shouldn't move these guys forward. They're dead. Son of them. The good news is they have to kind of move these things around. They're in trouble. Okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. These are, there's the unique units here, right? Oh, enjoy. Our new master assessed a computer mission to establish trade. We'll trade orders for wood, science for wood, civics for wood. Okay, I don't want wood. So that was all terrible. Longbowmen, don't want those. We have crossbowmen are way better. Bodkin arrow, yeah, not very good. Martial code could be good. What was the other options? Goods boost. That's yeah, not very good. Navigation, let's take navigation. Okay. Just out of range. Okay. Continue to pummel that guy. How do these guys fare against these guys? Oh, very well. Risky to come right on here, but I'm gonna do it. 
and unlimber. And I'm going to start really trying to pummel these guys. Let's see, let's get this unit up here. That is in the city, which is going to make this pretty rough to take them out. It doesn't have walls, that's gonna fall real fast. Is he not unlimbered? He's not, okay, of course not. That would have just made my life way too easy. Season portions of Corsera, this earlier counter Greek jails full of foreign captives. Once freed, many of these prisoners offer to replenish our forces in the front lines. Arm them and send them into battle. We gain a swordsman. Yes. Before they attack, let's figure out where they can get to. Critical hit. Yes. Okay. Oh, she is. Okay, well, take that shot. They have a, three more back here. They have some staggered, intense defenses. I'm very impressed, actually, by the AI's ability to do that. Um, but we took one out. But we're going to take some serious damage, if not lose both of those units. But the good news is we have reinforcements coming, so... It's not too crazy, not too big of a deal. Now you do need to finish this guy, these guys. Okay. I can kill this hoplite. Syria's need a decision regarding its military training. Some in court support the creation of a professional army. Others rely on volunteers. A professional army also needs minus 20% destruction time for infantry units. All units get two training from treasury. Yes. Volunteers, 20 training per year of war. All cities can hurry production with population. Yeah, we'll do that. Pathfinder. Oh, okay. Where is he? Misfits. There's no camps or nets. There's. Lumber mills and groves, so naturalist makes the most sense there. Now we do get, yeah, tr these guys are built in three years. So that's what we want to do. These guys are ready to move forward, I think. We need more support on the way. Okay, uh, what to do, what to build. We completed the palace, we have three of four. We will be winning in just a couple, a handful of turns. I actually been thinking about coming to build this grove here. That must have been damaged or something because I thought we had groves everywhere we could have. This is the last palace we've done in four years. Go to the next unit. I'm just gonna sit, put you to sleep. 
going to save our orders up. We're reading 70 per turn, and we're using, like, all of them. I mean, this war is just insane. This is, like, the two biggest empires going at it. Let's see. Uh, ask, ask to declare war. Requires shorter than five turns. Requires minimum friendly. We have a lot of food. I can't send any... Oh, cost orders to send food. Dang it. Wanted to save up orders so we can carry over. Now, these two cities should fall, for sure. This is what you get for trying to make us follow your religion, Greece. Alright, they are bombarding us, though. Brutally. Okay, but actually we didn't lose like any units. Well, we lost one. Or general. A free Byrim? I don't know where and how that's going to work. <laughs> Gain a Byrim in this, uh, uh, Azure, our capital, which is landlocked. Coinage for market. Steel research would be good. A harbor, I think, would be good. And specifically up here, we'd be able to maybe go explore some of that area. However, I think... Bodkin arrow to get towards pikemen could be good. Or martial code to get towards cataphract, I think, is the best. All right, these guys are doing good work. We have to force march, so we're actually just going to shoot. Hmm, if we shoot, though, that's who was damaging him. Can we come back here and heal? All right, let's finish these guys off. Oh snap, another unit here, okay, let's... We're getting a little, ex like, extended, right? But, I mean, we just have to continue to hit these units that keep showing up. Adjust. Oh, I love it. The siege is over. A Greek city has fallen in, in the aftermath. A message from my place. We wish to discuss a truce. Let us end the fighting. There will be no truce. No, you're going to be a tribute for everything you've done. We're going to capture that city. We're going to capture this city. We'll, call, we'll capture that soon enough. We don't need Let's move forward and take hit that. These guys' backs, they're more protected, but still can stay in the fight. Oh, yeah. Get wrecked, Grease. All right, so these units, we could take this kill. Right, but if we do, we're getting hit right there. So we almost want to retreat, but we need to take this unit out still. That's the kind of interesting thing. I like to take out a lot of these units still. Hmm. Take a look at our events. Word has reached us that for a little time only an exciting opportunity exists for us to invest in the construction of a new bridge in Persia. Okay, we can provide gold. 6,000 gold now is a favor. Yeah, unfortunately we can't. The of course is that we clarify our on economic system. We support policies of colonies abroad or do we expose, expose serfdom here at home? Grow and expand. Can buy tiles, move it along, move bonus along the neutral river. Sort of all cities, farms, and pastures, 20% output. For river upkeep. Okay, are there some neutral rivers here? Kind of. I think I'm going to take colonies. I'm also considering, let's just take a look at this. I think we have like everything in active, except for this we're missing, and then this. Okay. The 
Move troop units up this way to hit those guys. There's, are there medic units in this game that can like heal your units? That'd be pretty cool. Hmm, yeah, how are we gonna do this? We still have these two that can move. The question is, do we hit them or retreat? No, I think this unit should hit this guy and just get the kill. And then with that, we could, we could charge with this infantry. Like that is true. They, it would force them to, let's do it. Like, why not? Oh crap, they have a unit right there. Okay, well let's... Let's hit this guy with the general. With an epic, we had a critical hit. All right, so this unit can maybe take this guy out. But, um... Now we can actually start adding generals and stuff where we, when we need to hang out like this. Let's take... Also, now that like there's that bonus of hitting siege weapons, like I used to never take it, it's actually very useful in later battles. And AI is using getting a ton of those types of units. We need to add generals as much as we can, really. What are we looking at? Swordsmen. Let's move forward to here, and then promote and get strength. All right, let's move forward to here and then add a general the general yes and this guy let's move forward to here and promote combat or we had a general they're all busy. Okay, archive completed. Up here, we completed a stone cutter. Very nice. Let's grab that. And here, treasury one was completed. We're out of stone again. In fact, we have basically have no stone income. Oh, I'm holding the wrong button. I was like, why is it one going by one? Okay, let's grab archive and treasury. We'll end the year. Now this is the kind of war I was talking about when I started the series. <laughs> Massive conflict, which is really fun. That takes four years to capture, unfortunately. They have units coming out of that pass. If we can like take everything on this side of the pass, though, right? Like this city over here. We take this city, and then we just have to hold that pass. Now, granted, there's these cities down here, too. They always have their archery, wrestling. Now, there's no horses there, so let's just take archery. What do we complete over here? Forum. Let's grab treasury and archive. Babylon. Apprentice bishop. Giving us more orders. Which I love. A master bishop. Let's do that. Okay. Oh, so we're going to upgrade Steadfast, Swift, Wisdom, Swift. We could come now. We, I'll take that city next turn. Okay. So we lost that unit, unfortunately. But it's not the end of the world. Now we have to decide on how we want to take this next city out. 
and I think we just go. We don't have tons of time to sit and wait, anyways. Eliminated. Now. Now, if we move forward, we're going to be in range, right? Which is a little worrisome. I'm going to spread out while we move forward. Not in range. Not really, well, if they move, we might as well unlimber. Just take cost and order. We have lots of those. The city seems to be unprotected. We might as well hit that as well. I'm gonna let this unit kind of hang out and move while we move this one forward. Take this city next turn. That'll be done in a couple turns. That'll be done next turn. Okay, let's take a look at this. This guy. Let him sleep until we can use him. Okay, this unit we can move. Right here, let's get this kill. Okay, beautiful. They have four more of these. They're gonna do some serious damage. But next turn we should be able to really mess them up and have a big mess of a cluster F right here in this pass. And then we should be able to take the city and hold it. And then we should probably can say a national truce, but demand they give us tribute. Hmm, what to do with this archer? I think I'm gonna hang out actually. She it's towards this unprotected city to help there. Let's see a little further. Kind of same thing here. I, sh I should be in range next turn to move forward one and two. Eh, it'll be kind of close. Maybe move forward just a little bit, but somewhere where they're alone. These units have all mo Oh, these units haven't moved, have they? Yeah, they have. This guy hasn't moved. Stay in urban. Unlimber. If we do move forward, we want to move forward to urban. We could force march. Critical hit, that's actually phenomenal. Okay. Is there anyone else we could force march? We just moved. If we hit force march. They can only move another tile. That's not very good. Probably the same thing here. Yeah. So if we force March, we would have to do that probably next turn. Uh, that's pretty much everyone. So we'll just hit end here, I guess. Now it's like we need more military. But we're not really using our, our workers in order to save the orders up. And it's really nice to be able to carry them over next turn when you don't use them. So it's worth trying to save them up sometimes. Although we kind of need to, eh, have to wait three more years so then we can tutor them. Okay, so they're bringing more of these units forward, surprisingly, and went through their city. Okay, so we lost that unit. They have a lot of these guys. Who are those? Pikemen. Okay, so we lost that unit, I assume. He died. All right. Okay, establish mission. Is your citizens of Martin trust in your justice and leadership as a real city leaders wish to strengthen the legal system and encourage more people to participate in the judicial process? They're considering the formation of Misthophoria, a paid function that provides jurors with a salary. Okay, establish the Misthophoria in Martin. What does that give us? Lots of civics. 
cost some money. Charge my artwork to our state of art in the legal system. 24 orders. Yes. Speaking of that, we need to build a worker. We don't even got a worker in this city. Um, here, Elder Bishop was completed. Very good. the grove here. Let's put this unit to sleep again. Now this big battle is gonna, they're trying to reclaim the city. Now hold on, let's finish taking this city. Capture both of these cities. If we could capture this city this turn, that's eh, not going to happen. Um, so that would be what would be epic. Hit. Yeah, a ton of health. Oh, they have like a moat and walls and stuff, that's why. I was like, how do they, how do they have so much health there? We can't quite get to a bunch of these guys, which is a little frustrating. Because we need to take the city, we, need, we could have almost eliminated a bunch of these units, but we've run out. troops. We have tons of training, so we don't really need that. In fact, we don't have so much training, we don't know what to do with it because we don't have time to upgrade our units. Choose our production here. How close are we? Uh, we're going to win next turn, actually. This has been an epic war. In fact, we almost took this city. That's what probably we should, we should, we should have prioritized, maybe. city and took their infantry out. Okay. Ambition victory, there we go.
What a freaking series. What a very epic ending as well. Like, war with Greece. We, we're leading with points, though not by as much as we ever have before. Research Barding, that would have been cool. When did you never disable the ambition victory? Like, you have to play the full 200 turns, essentially, which we almost did. I never even made it that long. Like, this is by far the longest of the three Old World games we've played, so definitely tried a different strategy. You had to adjust to kind of make sure we won the game, but wow. With fulfillment of your ambitions, you and your family leave an everlasting legacy on history. Shemi has proven itself as the rulers of Assyria and will go down to the greatest dynasty of the Old World. Congratulations, you have won ambition victory by completing all your ambitions. Okay, we can check that out. Um... No further scoring. Wow. Like, also, I kind of wish they kind of got rid of a bunch of this stuff that happens. I kind of want to just say thanks for watching. Like, that was so fun. I know I learned, like, we learned a ton that series. If you look back here, like, this war has just been epic. We're conquering Greece. We're going to have these three cities kind of expanded into our empire, and then we'd have to, then we probably would have demanded peace. But, like, learned a lot about war this game, about how it, how you can use it to your advantage, but also how it can be too risky, um, and how to kind of use it to leverage other nations. It's hard to probably wipe a nation off the face of the map, but it's pretty... But you can use war to leverage uh, more resources, right? And I think that would be fun to try in a more strategic way next. But thanks for watching. This has been a crazy series, and it's been so fun. I'm so thankful for all y'all who watched this and commented and everything. So, again, thanks for being here. I hope to see you in the next series. Uh, let me know what you'd like to see. And, yeah. You can hit that like button, hit that share button, hit that subscribe button. Regardless, thanks for being here. Love y'all. Hope y'all have a great day. And I'll see you in the next one.